Hi everyone! Today we are going to make the border around our piece of paper and this is going to look like Faith Ringgold's story quilt. Obviously we're not going to be sewing but we are going to be making squares around our paper and then making little patterns in the square. So I'm using a ruler for a straight edge because we want to make these nice and straight but if you don't have a ruler anything will work like I'm gonna show you that this plastic wrap edge will work as long as it is as long as your paper for this I'm just gonna use a sharpie but if you want you can use a pencil first and then go over it in sharpie to make these all the same and really straight with the ruler you're gonna line it up with the edge of the paper. So line it up nice and straight to the edge of the paper. You're gonna hold the ruler down so it doesn't move. And then you're gonna take the marker or your pencil right against the ruler from all the way to the top to the bottom. And you'll have a nice straight line. You're gonna do the same thing on each side. So remember, line it up. Hold it down. Then you will have your border. So the ruler is the best way to do this, but if you don't have a ruler, I'll show you how to use just a straight edge as long as it's hard, like a piece of paper won't work. But with this, still line up the edge of it to the paper and then you can slide it over until you have a little piece here. Hold it down just like the ruler and make the line. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing on each side. This one, it won't be exact measurements on each side, but you can eyeball it. Both ways work. Very well. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is see these four squares. You're going to make squares around the entire border and these don't have to be perfect so don't make them too tiny because you're going to be doing a pattern or a design in each one of these so the next step is to do your patterns and you want these to be all different you can do like circles in one and then like stripes you can do a diagonal line it doesn't have to be too crazy and you can repeat the patterns just don't do every single one the same exact thing so some simple ones that you can do is just draw a line a diagonal line and then color one, one color and then this one the other color. You can do straight lines down. You can do some circle patterns. You can make up your own. This one I'll do a checkerboard. And then I'll do Some circles. They don't have to be too complicated. 
And you're gonna do that around the whole. Remember, you can choose any patterns that you want. You don't have to do exactly what I do. Make up your own and be creative. But after you do that, I want you to make one more line across the bottom. You're gonna write, if I could fly anywhere, I would fly because I know a lot of us are really antsy and we're stuck at home in quarantine. So just imagine if you can go anywhere in the world, where would you go right now if you could fly anywhere in the world? And it's safe, obviously. So I'm not gonna tell you what I would do because I want you to be really creative with what you personally wanna do. Try to think big. Don't just say, I would go to Walmart or Target because those are things that you can pretty much do whenever. Think on like a bigger scale, um, like amusement parks or a really awesome vacation that you and your family once were on, a different state. And then we are gonna be drawing those next week. So this week you're gonna write, if I could fly, anywhere I would fly and then you're gonna write right here where you would fly the last thing that you're gonna do today is you're gonna color in your border and I'm gonna use sharpie colored sharpies you can use crayons you can use colored pencils you can do watercolor whatever you want whatever you have and if you don't have anything to color you can leave it black and white if you want but um, if you're doing it this way just decorate it with like a black marker or you can shade with a pencil and you could still make different patterns with that so Right now, I'm just going to color in my patterns. And this is gonna give us a nice border for next week. Remember when you're coloring, color really close together, especially with marker, you don't want it to look really scribbly. You can leave some white on the background if you want. But that is what we're doing today. So for this week, I am gonna have you upload a picture and click turn in. Just because it was confusing with assignment one when I told you not to do that. If you didn't turn in assignment one just go on assignment one lesson one with the Keith Haring and you can just click I'm done without uploading anything. But for this one, I want you to take a picture with your iPad of your paper with your board colored in border. And if I could fly anywhere, I would fly and you're going to write in where you would fly and you're going to upload this when you submit your picture. So remember, you're going to go under your work, you're going to add an attachment of your picture, and then you're gonna click turn in, and that will give you your, um, and that will be it for this week. All right, have fun guys.